Good afternoon and welcome to Holy Headline News. I'm Tori. I'm Zion. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. I'm Caleb. And I'm Keone. And we are your senior anchors for this week's broadcast. This, this is, is the final broadcast of the year! <laughs> Our first segment of this broadcast is the senior prank from last Thursday. segment of the year is the H2H Senior Exclusive. Don't forget to come to graduation on Monday, May 20th at 4 p.m. What is your advice to our underclassmen? Yeah, I would say, honestly, less is more for your senior year and just the rest of high school. Really take time to make sure you're scheduling the things that you enjoy outside of class into your schedule so that you're not overloaded. Like. Seriously, unless they are required classes, like make sure you are selective on what you're taking and just live in the moment. Um, if you're done with all your required classes, don't take a class you don't need to take because then you just get more stress than you really need for your last year. My advice would be to savor your moments in your senior year. It goes by faster than you think. Another piece of advice though would also to make sure to prioritize your health first. You can't graduate if you're dead. <laughs> I would say the advice that I would give to the younger classmen is to learn from your failures. Um, we have a lot of victories, but you can also learn a lot from your failures, so be sure to reflect on what you've done. I would say to take every opportunity, so going to all the senior events and spending time with friends. Um, I would say just have fun. High school is like probably the best years of my life so far. Like, all the people you get to meet, what you get to do in high school, and um, yeah, just have fun. I would encourage you guys to join a school sport. Um, there's so many sports that you can choose from, and it's a great way to make friends. Um, no. <laughs> um, I guess really it gets easier. Um, like, once you just get more used to the groove of like, actually doing your work on time and all that. It, you get more in the groove and less stress. Um, yeah, that being said, don't procrastinate a little bunch of legs. Um, don't overthink everything. It's a lot simpler than what it really seems like. Uh, yeah, just um, do make sure to do your work. Don't procrastinate so it's not due at the last minute and then just don't overthink things. Um, don't go to school late. Damn, I don't know. <laughs> go for it. Go for whatever you want to do. My advice is that understand that some people come from either ego or love. 
You should come from love and ignore people that come from ego. Don't let the teachers change you too much. Don't procrastinate because it piles up. And I know from experience, just don't do it. Uh, try to find something you're passionate about. Um, I think having a good level of like worry for the future. Uh, you can't be like, you can't like repress it, but you also can't like worry too much about it. It's just finding a balance. It's good. Mm -hmm. Just take every opportunity you can because by the time you know it, school will be done. <sighs> um, don't stress about having friends because friends come and go. Um, don't miss out on things because you're going to regret it. Um, do your work. Don't procrastinate. My advice to underclassmen is don't do drugs and stay away from them. I have faith that you're going to be whatever you need to be. The rest of these kids... My advice to all the underclassmen is do as many sports and extracurriculars and clubs as you can. It'd probably have to be, uh, just do your work. Just do it. Yeah, just do your work. Um, my advice to underclassmen is to don't focus on relationships and like having a boyfriend or a girlfriend and to just focus on your education. Sorry. My advice for underclassmen, and I want you to hear this, please wear deodorant. Please do. I walk through these halls and mm, it'd be stinky. Thank you. I would say my advice to underclassmen is to take every opportunity that you're given. Um, I've had a lot of opportunities in my high school career relating to film shoots and being talent and just being on crew and I've taken a lot of them and almost every single one of them has done a great part in advancing my career, advancing my credits list and has really boosted my application for college and I think Almost every one of those opportunities that I've taken is part of the reason that I'm going to the college I am in the fall. And yeah, I'd say if you're given an opportunity, you should take it. Um, so my advice to upperclassmen would probably be, um, I'd say try not to make sacrifices. Um, like try not to sacrifice um, meals or don't sacrifice on sleep and especially not on time with friends and family. Because um, even if you have, this might not apply to everyone, but if you have really big goals, um, I don't think it's worth it in the end because, you know, you're not going to get any of that time back and you, you're probably going to regret it by the end. So, yeah, that's my advice. Don't procrastinate, study, do your homework, don't skip class. What was your highlight of high school? The highlight of my high school career, I would say, is making connections with different people and teachers that have been super sweet. The uh, highlight is if Elle didn't drag me to lunch that first day, I wouldn't have the friends I have today. <laughs> to be honest, the highlight of my high school would be making the friends that I have now. When being able to make, being able to be friends with the people who I'm friends with now has helped me to open up a lot more and has helped me to get more opportunities for myself to be more open with people and just overall has helped me to be more friendly and social. Um, I would say connecting with a lot of friends that definitely made me found my place and found my value and valued me as a person. I would say getting accepted into college was a pretty big deal for me and a very big accomplishment. Um, my, oh my gosh, highlight of my high school career, that's a hard question. I think, I love school events, so like prom, spirit week, um, things like that, or playing soccer too at Campbell, um, it's, it was so amazing to like be a part of that community and uh, represent the Sabres, so, and we won OIAs this year, which was super exciting, so. Um, I guess just being able to have less classes to worry about. I have like two classes right now that I just kind of go back and forth to, so it's less to stress about. Um, getting my job, having a blast with that. 
<laughs> building up uh, my life. Um, just meeting a lot of new teachers, counselors, and then friends and peers and stuff like that. Um, mainly just being able to get some different types of experiences, learning um, different types of skills, basically just getting the knowledge and being able to do really cool things. Um, coming to school late, bullying people shorter than me. My highlight from high school is like the friendship I made here. Definitely when uh, someone found out how to open Netflix on one of the TVs so we could watch like Shrek or one of the movies in the lunchroom. That was really fun until they got rid of it, unfortunately. Um, probably senior year not having classes until 12. Um, probably my work-based learning, getting to go out and uh, help the community every uh, week. Uh, just having nice conversations with people. Um. I uh, in high school. <laughs> uh, passing my classes. <laughs> um, prom. We stayed in a hotel. Um, a highlight would definitely be hanging out with my friends and getting to know a lot of new people and having those fun experiences outside of school. Um, eating lunch with my friends. The highlight of my high school career was getting into my first choice college. <laughs> what are you doing after you graduate? After I graduate, I'm going to Point Loma Nazarene University to study elementary education. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I will be studying in Washington, Se Seattle, Washington at Cornish College of the Arts and majoring in visual arts. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I plan to go to UH Manoa to study nursing. Great, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to GCU, Grand Canyon University, Lopes Up. Um, I will be majoring in digital film and media with an emphasis on production. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. I plan to attend UH Manoa to study cinematic arts. Great, thank you. After graduation, I will attend um, a college in Nebraska called Concordia University. I will be studying athletic training and playing college soccer. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to go to a community college while I do my general, edu general education classes um, and just get a job. So like as I, as I just do that, then later go into university and Study zoology. Awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. <laughs> I plan to continue my current job and um, do a college at the same time. Thank you. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to attend UH Manoa to study electrical engineering. Awesome. Thank you. Um, those are not really known to me yet. Um, I'm still trying to figure those things out, but. I do intend to be able to um, get a nice simple job that I can um, just sustain myself and you know, enjoy my life. Awesome. Thank you. Do I get a lollipop? If I had a lollipop, I would give a bit to you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna go to college. Escoffier. Not really too sure yet, but I'm really looking forward to trying to get into law enforcement. Or anything sort of criminal justice. After high school, I am training as a pre-professional dancer at CLI Kasotoi. Uh, I think I'm going to take a gap year and then I'm going to go to college on the mainland, either GCU or maybe Texas Tech. After high school? Um, I'm going to take uh, not a full gap year, but a bit and uh, travel. After high school? Uh, I'm going to take a gap year and then go to college here. I uh, just go to community college and figure stuff out. Um, I'm going to UH Manoa and I'm doing ROTC to go be a leader in the Hawaii National Guard. Oh boy, construction. After high school, I'm going to go to Leeward for two years and then transfer to UH Manoa for business. For high school? I'm going to go to college in Chicago. Um, 
My um, plans after high school is to never return and to leave um, forever. I'm going to leave everything behind and travel and never to be seen ever again and just live my life happily with alone and happy. No teachers in my ear or any body in this school in my life. LCC. Oh, Chapman University. UH West. Ithaca College. Um, college. UH and working. Air Force. Yep, you're surfing. That's all for the last broadcast. Ta ta, -ta turtles, and we won't catch you later. Toodaloo! Bye, brother. <laughs>